Hello, this is Steven, a.k.a. Chicago Guy, here in Minnesota. Alongside with me is a special guest in my YouTube video. Brandon, a.k.a. Jurassic Park Tour Guide. Oh, oh, oh man. That was definitely a massive let down. I was going to feel a little better than that. I man. told him I needed to do an a.k.a. because he always does an a.k.a., but I just figured I'd point out that I'm wearing a Jurassic Park shirt. That's, yeah. that's the only reason. To be fair, it's a good shirt. To be fair, I actually don't know that I've ever seen Jurassic Park, too. Just on a side note. Yeah, we got to stop this video right now. <laughs> we just end up watching that the whole rest of the time. Yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm making this video is I am in Minnesota for the first time ever. This is a special occasion. Brandon and I have been like really good friends for kind of a long time now. Yeah, a long time. And this is the first time I've ever actually visited him in Minnesota. We have a podcast together. You'll notice a lot of times at the very end of my YouTube videos, I'll talk about how I have a podcast with my friend Brandon. Well, this is... Brandon. In the flesh and blood, baby. Now you guys know who he is. He will be moving to Chicago soon, so you guys will be seeing more content with Brandon. So this is an opportunity to introduce him in this video a little bit more to some of my newer subscribers and people who may somehow not actually know who you are, even though you're so damn famous. I'm so famous. I mean, I have been on your channel previously. You can check out the Triscuits video. <laughs> Dude. Triscuits are linked to what? <laughs> he has been on my channel before, but this is an extra special occasion. I'm so pumped that you're back because it gets a little lonely doing my videos in my apartment. So this is, this is really nice. <laughs> so that being the case, this video, we're going to talk about this whole trip, kind of how it came together, um, what it means, highlights, any of that kind of stuff. So let's start off with the reason that I ended up specifically coming here on this trip was I've always wanted to come to Minnesota. I've always wanted to see the Mall of America and Brandon's going to be moving from Minnesota soon. And so I was like, I better get here before you leave. So this was my one chance, a small little window to make my way here. Now we are actually in Rochester, Minnesota at the time of this recording. So we are not in Minneapolis in this video specifically, but we did go to Minneapolis and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So we ended up putting this together, uh, bought my plane ticket. I've been here. This is uh, my fourth. Third night, right? Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, fourth night uh, here in Rochester. And there's not much of a, a specific agenda. Um, we just wrote out like all the things that we wanted to get accomplished, yeah. mm -hmm. like videos and things like that. Uh, but a big part here is just to have fun. So this is one of the videos that we made. We made some content. We got a podcast episode out. If you don't know about the podcast, check it out. It's called the Everything Must Go Podcast. Available on all of your favorite podcast apps. And I always forget to say this, but we have a YouTube channel. The Everything Must Go Podcast YouTube channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. Well, <laughs> first thing I want to say is actually it is ironic that you ended up coming to Minnesota because Stephen and I did this uh, setting our goals for 2019 together. And one of the goals was for me to come to Chicago again. <laughs> But now I'm going to move to Chicago in 2020, so it didn't work out exactly the way that we planned it, but we figured if I'm moving, better time than ever for you to come visit where I'm from. So that was a big thing for us, for sure. Yeah, it, I didn't even realize that, that like, you're probably not going to visit me in Chicago in 2019. Probably not. I mean, unless we do like a, an apartment tour oh, or yeah, something, you're right. that might be a possibility. But we'll we'll keep you posted on that for sure. Um, my goal for Stephen coming here was definitely to show him some of my old stomping grounds. I wanted him to see my high school, uh, just where a couple of the houses I grew up. I moved a lot as a kid, so I wanted to make sure that I showed Stephen just kind of the places that I went um, as I was a youngin, growing into a young man, and now I'm an old man. <laughs> but yeah, it was, a, it was a great time. It was kind of weird. It was like two worlds colliding because Stephen and I met um, at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And he had never, I mean, just bringing him to this world in Minnesota was a really surreal experience for me. Even our drives uh, up to <laughs> the, the city is, was pretty cool. We got to jam out to some, some tunes. And I remember even uh, one of the nights we listened to the entire Black Parade album <laughs> oh, of yeah. My Chemical Romance, and we thought we were going to lose our voices and not be able to make content. Yeah, I was actually genuinely worried about this because I've done this before. Because I, I have a tendency when I'm in the car, I just like yell, scream, sing as loud as I possibly can, and then my voice, due to my horrible vocal techniques, is gone <laughs> the next day. We're going to get that worked out of him, though. He's going to have incredible vocal techniques coming to you guys in 2020. Just you wait. That brings up actually a good point. So Brandon is 
a musician. And uh, the reason why I'm bringing that up in this video is because I always wanted to work on content with Brandon, but he was always doing like music stuff in the past. So I didn't know how we were ever going to collaborate on something. So the podcast kind of became an outlet in which we could do some sort of a collaboration. And uh, that's why it was especially cool to do some like singing things together. Cause it's like one of those things that I never really thought would be something that we would do together, but it's just like, it's kind of fun. Like, I don't know. We'll find, we'll find some way to produce content on it. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Death of the mind, dude. People are sleeping on it. <laughs> <laughs> so a breakdown of the actual trip itself. I came in on Wednesday night. It was kind of late by the time I got here. I think it was about nine o'clock or so. Um, but we went and got dinner at a very, very specific location only found in Minnesota. I, I just figured Steven's going to be here for only a short amount of time. I wanted him to have the most authentic Minnesota cuisine. We went to Applebee's, folks. Now, Applebee's, you might not have heard of this establishment. It's very quaint, very local, all right? And uh, what, what were your thoughts of the local Minnesota cuisine. I was really disappointed that nobody said you betcha. <laughs> he did say that. <laughs> He's like, am I going to hear some people say you betcha or don't you know or something? Not one damn person has said you betcha since I've been here. I told you the movie Fargo gave people a wrong impression of how Minnesota was. <laughs> really did because it's not like that at all. I'm pissed. You I want my money back. You want your money back? <laughs> that Wednesday night, we so we went to eat and then we went on some walks, right? Then we like... Yeah, we, we took my dog for a walk. Uh, it was funny because I had like an epiphany while we were on the walk. I remember Stephen and I talk on the phone a lot and there was a specific time we were on the phone and I had walked by a certain area and I was like, oh, if you come to Minnesota and come and come to Rochester specifically, I really want to show you this place because it's it, it's a place, uh, it's called Carousel. It's just like a flower and plant shop um, and vase shop and stuff. And uh, it's really cool how they, ha how they have the shop itself set up. And I was like, it looks so awesome at night. It would be awesome if we went for a walk by this place. And then we ended up being able to do it. So it was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool to put like the, when you, when you, you talk to someone on the phone for a while and you, you kind of wonder what their life is like, especially if you've never been there before. And it's cool to, to then put together all the pieces. That's been a huge thing on this trip is just piecing together all those places that Brandon went growing up and just to kind of like get the story behind the man that sits here today. So Yeah. Well, and I also think it's funny a couple of times uh, there were, I have specific memories for when we were on the phone together and you were like, wait, so is this where you were during this phone conversation? And I was like, yep, that's exactly right. <laughs> In the driveway, that's where I was or over here, that's where I was. Exactly. Yeah. So Yeah. So that was... So that was Wednesday. Then Thursday, we did a lot of content creation. We made a lot of videos. Went to the park. You guys will be able to see some of those videos on my channel and Brandon's channel. Yeah. You want to up your channel real quick? Yeah. So I I don't have enough subscribers to have a specific channel name yet on YouTube. Hopefully, I guess this video will be timeless. So eventually, that'll be an outdated statement even. But uh, if you want to come over, you can just search Brandon Flippin, Brandon Flippin Music. Uh, be flipping music, you'll probably find my covers or just my page in general. So give me a subscribe and check out some of my covers. Uh, we will have some of those skits that Steven was talking about on there. And another thing about these skits, I just want to mention, Steven and I, with our phone conversations, are always thinking of new ideas for creativity. And so over the last few months even, um, even the last year, I would say, we've been putting together these skit ideas. And I think Thursday morning, we went and got uh, a camera for me. And then the first video that we did was a uh, idea, it'll actually be on my channel, um, that we had been kind of concocting for a while and can, could finally put it in action. So it's pretty cool. So after we got my camera, we made a, a video for a couple skit ideas that we had had. And, and then we did a podcast episode, uh, which was pretty cool. It was the first time that we had actually done a podcast live on Instagram in the same place. We had done a couple uh, episodes where we were in the same place just for the sake of recording a podcast episode. But the first time that we could ever do it live was here in Rochester. And uh, it was, I don't know, I, the energy that we can feed off of each other is way 
better when you're in the same place. Definitely, yeah. For those of you who don't know, who don't follow the podcast too much, Brandon and I have been doing the podcast for over a year, two separate locations. We've been recording it on Twitch um, live, but you know we have to like use Skype, and it's not the most yeah. efficient, best way of doing it. But sometimes when you're trying to do content creation, you don't, you know, I mean, you're not going to have all the best stuff. Like we don't have all the best equipment to do it. We're not in the same place. So like there's there's some hurdles to it, but um, that's why this was an, another reason to make a trip out here to actually be able to do some content in person. Just another side note that I wanted to mention that has been really awesome. Like it's it's great to be able to do this stuff. Yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot. So obviously those skit I those skits that we recorded weren't specific to Minnesota. It was just specific to us getting in the same place. So the rest of the night was really about me showing them where I live currently, which is Rochester, Minnesota. Now, some of you might know Rochester because it's the home of the Mayo Clinic. It's a world-renowned hospital, and we did drive by the Mayo Clinic. We didn't really peer much into what the Mayo Clinic is all about, but we actually did have a joke with the the front desk person oh, yeah. in the hotel <laughs> that we were uh, we were doctors in training that we were here for, for the Mayo Clinic to, oh, to yeah, do some yeah. surgeries. The, the, the girl at the front asked me why I was here, and I was like, "Well, it's not for the Mayo Clinic." <laughs> but then I was like, "Oh no, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a doctor. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in like doctor school for the weekend. <laughs> for the weekend, yeah, learning, that's how it works. I'm learning how to do surgeries. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny." Yeah, so we, we drove around downtown Rochester. I showed him some of the places there. It's a, It honestly reminded us a lot of downtown Knoxville because we went to University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and we spent a lot of time walking around those streets. So it was kind of cool to just see the parallels there. Super cool. I showed him my college because right now I am in graduate school at the University of St. Mary's. Um, and it was dark, so you couldn't really see much of it. It's not much anyways. It's just one small building. But it just – that was another one of those places where I'm, I'm like, yeah, as soon as I leave class, this is where I call you. This parking lot right here. So, <laughs> yeah, it's true. So then we just came back and uh, hung out for a little while, and that was a night. I, what – we Where do we go lot. for dinner? Oh, wait, actually, was that the day? That's we, we, that's the day we got a firehouse subs <laughs> and we went to a B-dubs. So again, <laughs> authentic Minnesota cuisine. For lunch, we went to firehouse subs. We did go to Shields, which I think might be a Minnesota-specific sporting goods store. I, I, I don't know. speak to that. I have no idea. I don't know for sure. But uh, we did go to Shields. What did we get there? We got Twins gear. Yeah, I got which, a Twins hat, which is really bad timing because the Indians – and I'm a Cleveland Indians fan. The Indians and Twins are like neck and neck. We're literally tied – uh, as of last night for the division lead. So not the best time. And can't really wear that twin set for a couple of years, but that's okay. <laughs> His hometown friends were not too pleased they with that not, decision. <laughs> they were not good. <laughs> they were not good with it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then that night we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Which you did enjoy the veggie burger. I did. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian, but I got a veggie burger. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Big fan. And then after Buffalo Wild Wings, we just kind of took it easy. I don't think we did any more content creation after that. We had another video idea that we were thinking about. Um, we, I think we did do Instagram Live, didn't we? we? We went live on Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, that, that was about it for the night. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a pretty productive day. Um, and then Friday... Friday like was really the only day that we we had to like specifically plan for because we had bought tickets to see the Minnesota Twins and Cleveland Indians so we had to get to Minneapolis at some point to watch that game. That was really the only thing I think that we absolutely had to do at some point because we actually had the tickets for it. Yeah, I think we had decided before that we weren't going to do too much uh, content creation other than vlogging a little bit, which we did do. You'll see some of that footage. Uh, but yeah, we played basketball in the morning and then uh, we went up to the cities and that was when I really wanted to take advantage of showing him where I grew up. So the first place that we went to uh, was actually Hopkins, which was, I, I lived there in 2014, 2015, in the beginning of 2016, Hopkins, Minnesota. Uh, lived in a townhouse over there with my, my family and I showed him, we went to Pizza Luce, which actually is a local restaurant and uh, you enjoyed the it, pizza. It was there. amazing. Yeah. And let me, I want to speak to one thing on this too, is like, part of the reason why I wanted to see all these places that Brandon like grew up is I love and I've always been this way. All of my favorite artists, all the people in my life who are an inspiration to me of some kind, I love knowing the backstory. I want to know, you know, what kind of kid were they in school? What kind of, um, 
Like, what, what were their fears in becoming the person that they eventually ended up becoming? You know, what held them back? What, what, I don't know. It's, it, it's super interesting to me to learn as much as you can about the people who inspire you or just, like, your friends, things like that. Like, I, I'm, I've always been like that, even within my own family. I'm always learning about the family history. I'm always asking my grandparents. I'm always asking aunts and uncles, anyone I can talk to, because I love learning this kind of stuff. And this gave a rare opportunity to, like, really step inside and, and learn more about like Brandon's backstory. And maybe another thing is like being able to pull from something like being able to see like, Oh, I can actually relate to that. Let's make a video because I can relate to it having a, or being in an environment like that. Or, 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 you know, we talked about like playing night games Like night games was a thing that I played when I was a kid. Ghost so in the graveyard. Ghost in the graveyard, things like that. Like, it's just it's cool to be able to to talk about and see this kind of stuff. Yeah, and we're both from Midwestern uh, environments, so it's we even kind of talked a little bit about the comparisons that you saw uh, from here to Ohio. So we didn't spend too much time in Hopkins. We did eat there. I showed him the house that I lived in while I was in Hopkins. The next place I wanted to take him was New Brighton, Minnesota. Uh, for those of you who know the Minnesota area, you're like, why are you taking him to these places? It's <laughs> not like anything special, but it was just. A Again, this was about where I uh, grew up or just lived at some point in my um, life in Minnesota. So again, I moved a lot. So New Brighton, I had an apartment there and uh, we drove by there quickly, which was the most recent place I really lived before moving to Rochester. So that was kind of cool to show him because that's where really where our friendship started to evolve big time. That's where uh, I was when you know you had the podcast idea for us. It, that's where I was Man, living, and you know we were having tons of phone conversations. We're like, why don't we just record these? Yep. <laughs> so you know, that was kind of cool. How did you feel about seeing that apartment? It's really cool because it's just it's been something that has been talked about plenty of times, and I do remember like having the conversations and you telling me like that that's where you live, and then actually going right there and, and seeing it. I don't know. It's super cool because you guys have probably felt this way before when you you've heard about something for example like maybe there's a country you've heard about your entire life and then you actually go there and you're like oh so uh, because you get this visual in your head but to actually see it is just that one step so much further so that was a really cool moment and to know that 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 time of your life played like a significant role in i don't know shaping a lot of things in your life so absolutely Yeah, for sure. Um, Then I took him to uh, Coon Rapids, which was really where I spent most of my childhood and and most of my life, honestly. Um, I took him to the first house I ever lived in, showed him the elementary school I first went to and where I threw a snowball at a crossing guard and then got a bus slip. That's pretty damn funny, actually. (laughs) It's just funny to like to visualize that stupid story. Yeah, <laughs> and well, and he was like, "Where's all the snow up here?" That was one oh, of his yeah. jokes. Trent. I've made a lot of horrible jokes since I've been here, but <laughs> which probably isn't a surprise to you no, guys because you, you know Stephen. <laughs> I usually cut out my horrible jokes in my YouTube videos. Oh, to be honest, yeah. I used to keep them in, and I was like, "Why am I doing this?" How do you have any time in the video then? <laughs> God, my videos dude. are getting progressively shorter. Oh, gotcha. Except for this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I showed him uh, the first house that I lived in in Coon Rapids. Some people call Coon Rapids Ghetto CR. Um, it's it's kind of trending in that direction. It's not as nice as like Hopkins or Minnetonka, which is where the first place that I showed him. New Brighton is kind of in that area a little bit too. It's not quite as nice, at least not the area that I lived in, uh, Coon Rapids. There are nice areas, but there are also some rundown places. Uh, I showed him the community college that I went to, Anoka Ramsey Community College, which is actually the college I was at right before I went to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville and met Piecing this it together, piecing together like the story piece by piece. And we talked about this, like we want to do one where Brandon goes to Cleveland and we make a whole uh, vlog or whatever you want to call it and then do something similar to this again. Absolutely. That, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. We even talked to his parents on the phone <laughs> yeah, today and did. I was like, this is so weird. I'm finally talking to them and it'll be cool to to visit them and, and just see kind of where you grew up just like I oh, showed yeah. you today. We'll go see the Indians face the Twins. <laughs> yeah. This time the Twins are going to win. <laughs> yeah, not that. So... Uh, after that, I showed him my high school, Coon Rapids High School. That's where I graduated. I did go to a school in Tennessee for a couple of years, but where I actually graduated was Coon Rapids High School. And you were saying that you thought it was a pretty big high school, right? Yeah, it's pretty big. After Coon Rapids High School, I showed him the house that my grandma actually 
uh, raised my mom in, and uh, we lived there actually when I was a senior in high school. And uh, I don't know, that was kind of cool. My uncle lives there now, so we kind of drove by there. I, I actually needed to use the bathroom at one point. I was like, can we just go like use your uncle's place? Like, I don't want to go in a gas station right now. Well, we did go to the first gas station. The guy's like, oh, we had 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like 15 minutes? Wait, 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 we're going to just sit around for 15 minutes for some asshole to let us in? I don't know what his strategy was. He was trying to be a salesman. Yeah, he's like, if they stay for 15 minutes, maybe they're going to buy some stuff. <laughs> like, no, we're not going to do that. So after I showed him that house in Coon Rapids, we went to the Twins game, which was pretty exciting you guys know steven's a huge baseball fan and they just so happen to be playing the cleveland indians which that is was your team awesome. <laughs> that was super awesome and it's especially awesome because i want to go to every single major league stadium actually brand's talked about wanting to do that too so hopefully we get to go to like a few together it's gonna be pretty fun um but the indians won which is always a big bonus and target stadium is really nice like it's a really really cool stadium whoa 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 target field target field Sorry. But it's the stadium called Target Field. No. It's just Target Field. It's, it's a ball field. It's also We're shocking. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying that to me that they don't have a, a roof. A roof, yeah. He just could not let that go. <laughs> yeah, I still can't let it go. I'm like, it's. I, how do they do with like, the snowstorms? <laughs> I don't get it. You can't see anything. That's a lot of snow. This, this guy just is fascinated by snow, as if he's never seen it before, to be I, honest. I've seen a lot of snow. Am I, dude? That's, that's a new character, right? I'm just, I developed it. We've right been now. developing these different... We've been workshopping them. Yeah. That's one of his. That, that's another reason why I came here. Workshop these characters. <laughs> Workshop these characters. Most of them have been failures, but that one, I see some potential. I see a lot of potential. It's a high a ceiling, I'd say. I, that's a top prospect. Yeah. About. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me do my Minnesota accent. So we took uh, 394 down to the <laughs> down to 100 south, and then we took the 100 south to 494, and then we took the 494 to 52 south, and we took that all the way down to Rochester there. We got to find the one person that actually talks like that here because I have not come across them yet. We'll get you guys an interview for sure. Uh, but, yeah, so we, we got out of the city fine, and we got home. And that was about it. I did get locked out of my apartment and had to sleep on the you recliner in the you hotel. That. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the cities, though? Because you you got to oh, be oh, on yeah. the city streets for a little bit, like going into Minneapolis. Yeah, it's a really nice city. It, it I mean, it's comparable in size, I'd say, to Cleveland. Like maybe it's a little bit bigger in terms of the downtown area, um, but it, it's nice and it looks clean, relatively clean. And people weren't wreaking havoc. I say that the one thing about Cleveland, Clevelanders are like really loud and kind of. They're, Cleveland sports fans are very obnoxious, like super obnoxious. The Twins fans are all like super nice. Like I didn't feel like they were like belligerent or anything was happening. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it is here. I don't know. Well, the Twins haven't <laughs> been good for the last few years, so I don't think uh, people are surprised by how good the Twins are this year. They've so gotta be. I'm they're just happy with how we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> but uh, it was a busier night because there was also a Vikings preseason game. Mm-hmm. I think there were a lot of people out at the bars and stuff to watch that game. I did get to show him just the side of First Avenue. First Avenue is a big-time concert venue in Minneapolis and it's actually been kind of a dream of mine to perform there at one point. Haven't done it, but who knows? I'm going to perform there first. Steven's going to perform there first, yeah. I'm not okay, I'm not okay. What if I actually did that? <laughs> I just, I'm just like, I, I got something the world needs. I just walk in there, I just like set a karaoke thing on, I just press play, and just sing on the mic. And then you go big, and I never made it as a musician. <laughs> And I spent a lot of time trying to. My chem gets back together and they just have me be the singer. Yeah, because Dry Ray is writing graphic novels lately. He's too busy. <laughs> That's not the time. I do. I got the time. You got the time. Forget the Everything Must Go podcast. Wow, dude. No just, loyalty. No loyalty. I only have loyalty to the, to the My Chem community. You know that Chris Brown song, These Hoes Ain't Loyal? It's this guy. It's actually, he it's wrote that song about me. <laughs> dude, these jokes are freaking hitting right now. <laughs> So that was that was our plan for that day, really. <laughs> we we got home back in Rochester, went to bed, got up this morning, and we had another jam-packed day today, really. Uh, he wanted the one thing that he really wanted to see was the Mall of America. You're not a true American citizen until you see the Mall of America. I'll be fully transparent when I say this. My entire life, the only thing I've ever known about Minnesota other than that, that it's cold 
is that they have the Mall of America, which is the largest mall in the United States of America, and I'm pretty sure it's still the largest mall in the United States of America. It is. Yeah. We looked at the stats today. Yeah. And I <laughs> check out the stats. Check out the stats. I've always wanted to. I like going to the mall. Like it's, it's like kind of a cool environment. Just like chilling, shopping can be okay. Always wanted to go. Never thought I was going to make it to Minnesota because I'm like, why the hell else would I ever go to Minnesota? But stars aligned. And today I went to the Mall of America. I really just want to know what your reactions are. I mean, from walking in to just exploring. I know you, you said a little bit about how you were overwhelmed by how big it was. And it was a super busy day today. I was not expecting it to be that busy. I mean, it was a Saturday, so it makes sense. But there were a lot of people there. But how did you feel yeah. about it? So as soon as I walked in there, I mean, first off, the parking garage itself is just massive. So I knew I was about to walk into something crazy. So I get in there. And I guess on the very first glance, it just kind of looks like a mall until you like round the f- like the first little area, and you just see like, oh my god, there's four stories, and you can see off in the distance that there's a roller coaster. And I'll say that the mall is actually bigger than I even thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be big. It's over five million square feet. This place is so massive, and I thought there was just gonna be, I don't know, in my head, I just imagined a big mall, maybe like two, three stories, maybe at the most. A big mall and like one section with just like a roller coaster. But no, there's like a whole amusement park in this place. I don't even know how to describe it, uh, but it took a whole experience to go there. It's not just a place where you buy things or ride a roller coaster just to say you rode a roller coaster. There's like, I, I mean, I'm just naming a couple of things I can think of off the top of my head. There's like an arcade area, there's a putt putt course, there's a uh, aquarium, there's a movie theater, there's like two roller coasters. There's those uh, games that you see at amusement parks where you like um, like shoot bas- the basketball into the hoop. Uh, there's, I don't know, all kinds of like, carnival games. There's so much to do in that mall. And there's over 500 stores on top of all that. Super overwhelming. But also totally live- lived up to the hype because, I mean, I could s- spend an entire day there. It's really a cool place. It's interesting because being from Minnesota, the Mall of America isn't that big of a deal. Uh, I mean... Maybe it is to other people, but it wasn't to me. Any of my friends I talked to, they're just like, it's just a mall. You're going to see like three of every store. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm not a big shopper either. So it's like, I'm not going to go all the way to Bloomington to go to a mall. It's it's not a huge thing, but it's, it's interesting to see somebody from the outside who's heard of this place that's in Minnesota, yeah. really wants to go there, and then feeling like it lived up to the well, hype. Well, I even called my mom, or my, or my parents had called me on the car ride. My mom was like, did you go to the Mall of America? Yeah. Like, my mom was all about it. She's like, thought it was just super cool that I actually went to this place. Yeah, I mean, it is... Being there and seeing his enthusiasm definitely made me feel better about the place because it is when you think about it, we us Minnesotans probably take the Mall of America for granted because it is crazy. It's 100 percent a theme park in the middle of a mall. You do have the aquarium, movie theater, uh, laser tag. I think in there, I mean, there's so much stuff and so many stores. I think there was a stat. There was like, if you spent 10 minutes in every store, it would take you over 86 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's it's pretty nuts. We got like a lot of video footage of it. That was like kind of fun. We played a lot of the games there. Yeah. <laughs> All of our vlog footage is pretty much us playing in the arcade. And then we found out afterwards there was a way better arcade on the other floor that we just <laughs> walked right by. We played in the... See, this is, this is what shows you that I kind of took the Mall of America for granted because I, I didn't help Steven at all when it came to taking away from his overwhelming like feeling because I don't even know the mall that well so I'm just like I don't know what do you want to do you just want to walk around that's what I do at malls yeah. I just walk around I literally didn't buy like anything I, I didn't like go into a store and like actually like, buy a hat or something I was just like I don't want to actually buy stuff I want to actually just like do the things that you can do in the mall we did win some prizes though some pretty intense prizes that was pretty cool that was from the arcade so it was worth it we in won the end. we got like 480 something tickets we won like the kind of prizes you would guess. We actually broke the record for how many tickets you can win, so. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> After that, the last thing that was on our agenda for the day was uh, just a couple more places of significance for me. So the last thing that I showed him in the cities was Concordia University, Concordia St. Paul. That's that's where I went and finished up my undergraduate program and uh, played baseball there as well. After that, it was really just coming home and getting ready for Stephen to send off tomorrow. 
That's true. It's also pretty pretty cool to do some live streams here, like together in the same place. So I, I've just I've enjoyed that part of this a lot, and it's gonna be weird to go to go back after this kind of trip because I don't know, like this was a really good experience. I gotta go back to the big city and do Chicago Stephen things, make more videos about damn Chicago. <laughs> if you guys like uh, when I make those videos, hopefully you guys like this video as well. It's a bit of a change of pace. I do like doing videos with other people. I think it's it is a fun experience. It does add something. Um, anything else that you wanted to talk about? Well, I guess just overall, with all of the stuff that we did, I think it'd be cool just to hear your overall reaction of the Twin Cities, the Mall of America, Rochester, just your time here. What, what did it feel like? Yeah, so as somebody, for anyone who doesn't know, I have lived in Ohio. I have lived in West Virginia. I've lived in Tennessee. I have lived in Orlando, Florida. And now I live in Chicago. Um, but primarily, I grew up in Ohio, so I lived there for the first 19 years. So I'm a Midwesterner, like that's definitely how I would classify myself. And coming to Minnesota and seeing some of the small towns, seeing the big city, I relate a lot to this place. It feels like kind of right at home. Um, in a lot of ways, I think the, I mean, it's cool. Like I can see how you and I like relate on a lot of things because I see a lot of the similarities and places that we did, like we went to growing up. Um, I think Minnesota is just like, it's a pretty nice state. Like I've been very um, surprised to see like how it's a well-kept up state. Like it seems clean. Um, well, I think we've stayed in mostly like the nicer areas. So I'd be curious to see some like the less nice areas because uh, I mean, every city has those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't my goal. To take it. Yeah. I just want to show you the places that are most run down. Here's Steven. the most dangerous places in Minnesota. <laughs> We're going to get out of the car and walk around for a bit. Let's get some vlog footage. <laughs> All right, who can ever stay outside of this car the longest wins? <laughs> Let's not play that game. I could take you to Lake Street, which Minnesotans know that's pretty notoriously a, uh, a rough part of town. We'll go there next. That's, that's the next vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe the last vlog. <laughs> the next and last vlog yeah. will be on Lake Street. Thank you very much. We, we won't be doing this. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Um, I would say, yeah, I really like Minneapolis a lot. As I said, it reminds me a lot of Cleveland. Loved seeing Target Field. It was a great place. People here are pretty nice. The food that I ate at Pizza Luce's was fantastic. Like, love, I mean, I love pizza. You guys know it's my favorite food. Uh, so I thought it was fantastic. I actually ate seven pieces of it since yesterday. It's bad. I ate so much, but it's my vacation. Right? <laughs> it's my Cut little, this guy some slack. It's right? coming a little slack. It's like my vacation here. But yeah, no, it's been been really nice. It's also nice to get away from Chicago for a little bit because it's like loud. There's always sirens. There's always stuff going on. Like here, we can just like walk around and it's quiet. It's nice. Big fan of that. I like Rochester a lot. Um, it's just like super chill, super chill environment. And it uh, feels pretty safe too. I like that part. Because yeah. a lot of times in Chicago, I walk outside and I'm like, is this even, like, is this a safe place? Like, I think I'm in a safe place. And then you hear, like, oh, the person got shot. And you're like, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not as safe. person got run over by a car. Like, this stuff happens. Um, yeah. No, I thank you for allowing me to come here. I mean, really, you're visiting me here. Yeah, in the hotel. In my hotel. The um, lighting in here is incredible, though. The lighting in here is incredible. Lighting is very important. If the lighting in this video, though, is worse than my normal videos, that's because Brandon decided that lighting didn't matter. So that's yeah, just it's my fault. Thought. It's actually Brandon's I, fault. I, I dropped $700, but because I didn't drop another 60 bucks, Steven's lie. pissed. I'm, I'm, I'm very hard to be satisfied at life. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are new to my channel, I release at least one YouTube video every single week on any number of different topics. A lot of times, it seems like lately I'm making videos on Chicago, but whenever I go to someplace new or, or whenever I experience something new, I like to talk about it. That's what you get in this video. If you guys don't subscribe to Brandon or you guys don't follow anything to do with Brandon, Brandon, how can they keep in touch? So you can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, all that stuff. It's The Passionate Mind or Brandon Flippen, F-L-I-P-P-E-N. Or you can uh, find me on Instagram and Twitter at B Flippin Music. Or go to my uh, description of this video. Description below. Check that out. And then again, like he said earlier, the Everything Must Go podcast. You can hear all about my thoughts and feelings on a uh, multitude of to topics. So I would uh, check that out for sure. Hell yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Steven. Same guy, different day. Signing out.